everybody. Today I'm going to tell you how in three easy ways you can clear your succulents from mealybugs. Everybody, this is Claire from CJ Bailey. So unfortunately, you're probably watching this video because you've discovered that your succulents have mealybugs. Now, if you're not sure if you've got mealybugs or not, um, you might notice that your succulents are starting to look a little bit sick. Um, if you leave them on a table or a windowsill, you'll notice that there's kind of like a sick, sticky substance on your windowsill. Um, or you might find that your succulent is starting to drop leaves or the leaves are starting to die. Um, and you know, you've been watering them correctly. Um, and yeah, you just can't quite figure out. Take a look really carefully, look in between those leaves, um, look down in the soil and you'll see some, um, white, fluffy little insect substance on them. That's not good, that's your mealybug. So in today's video, if you've noticed these little white creatures from hell, um, I'm gonna show, give you three steps on how to get rid of um, mealybugs. So step one, what you want to do is go around the plant and remove all the old um, dead and drying leaves um, because that's it's not gonna grow back. Step two, you want to do a really thorough soil change. Um, so get your plants outside um, that are infected with the mealy bugs, um, clear off all the roots, get all the old soil off there um, because mealy bugs generally start in the soil um, and you're going to have eggs and things in there too. So get them outside, um, really thorough soil change with a nice gritty mix, just like normal. So step three is your neem oil treatment. And I like to use a spray bottle for this because uh, it allows you to get all down into little cracks and crevices um, like this Crusula golem. It's got very tubular leaves um, and the mealy bugs like to get in there um, and to just use sort of a watering can wouldn't work as well. Um, so I've got half a litre spray bottle here just from like the pound shop or from um, like a DIY shop or even online. Um, and then I like to add my Castile soap first to warmish water, not hot because you don't want to damage your plants. So half a litre warm water in here um, and I'll put the recipe down in the um, description as well. So then 10 millilitres of soap in a litre, so 5 ml um, of soap in here. And what that helps to do is emulsify your neem oil. The neem oil I think smells a bit like sort of peanut oil. Um, and you're gonna use two and a half mil in the, in the smaller spray bottle. Um, this can look kind of gritty when it's cold, uh, but that's okay. If you wanna kind of warm it up a little bit, you can do, but um, so two and a half mil in here. I like to give it a good swirl to get it all mixed together and emulsified. And then you wanna get in and spray all on your um, the stalk in between the leaves um, in the top so as thoroughly as you can uh, getting all down into the leaves and all the little cracks and crevices um, unfortunately it does remove um, if it's um, a succulent that has the powdery um, finish on its leaves then it can remove that um, and they don't look quite as great as they used to but also they're not dead from mealybugs so that's always great um, if you are sort of once you've cured the mealy bugs, if you are you don't like the finish of how it looks now, you can always remove all the leaves and propagate them, and then you'll have loads of baby plants instead of just one plant. Um, final part of step three is that you might need to repeat. So if you've done your neem oil treatment, keep them out of the sun. I like to sort of keep them in my kitchen for two or three days. Keep an eye on them. If you need to give them another treatment. Um, give them another treatment, another good spray over. Uh, and then again, if the leaves are wet and you put them in the sun, they're gonna get sunburned. So keep them out of the sun, keep them in a nice kind of slightly dimmer um, conditions. And I don't have any natural light coming into the kitchen except from the conservatory. Um, so yeah, keep them, baby them for a little bit. Look out for reinfestations. And again, if it happens again, check your soil, re-spray them with your neem oil, castile soap mix. And hopefully those three steps will do the trick. So I hope you've enjoyed my how-to video today, um, guide on getting rid of mealybugs. Let me know if it's successful or if you need any other tips um, down in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel um, if you like what you see.